In this segment, I'm going to show you how to do some easy transitions in your video to snazz it up a little bit. Um, transition, the transition window is right here in this area. This is, if you click on it, disappears. If you click on it, it comes back. It says transitions right here. All right, these are, this is the effects button over here. Oops, if you click it twice, it disappears. The effects, transitions, but we're going to do transitions. Now, something I do in the beginning, I think this is one I paid for. Uh, we're going to go down to cube. This one I like to do at the beginning. Just drag it over, select the transition, move it and, and drag it over and you'll see it's right here. It's a gray box that's highlighted. Now watch when we start the, the video, it, it cubes in the slide. See how that, that's kind of nice beginning. Beats just a regular old slide show up. And you still get the movement. I showed you in the in a previous segment how to make the slides move with the uh, the Ken Edwards tool. We did the crop and then the Ken Edwards tool. We did that in the last segment, so not cool. I'm not gonna cover that, but that's why that photo is moving like that. Isn't that cool? Okay, so there's a nice one. Another one that's really fun, uh, Andy's transitions has one that's a swipe. Now, again, a rule of thumb is you don't really do a lot of these transitions in a short video presentation. I usually do one at the beginning and one at the end, and the end is the promo slide, but I'm just showing you this so you, you know. So we're just gonna take uh, the dissolve, it's called. Now you can reshape this, you know, actually control plus to zoom in if you want, if you wanna make it longer, shorter, whatever. Put your cursor right on the edge if you want it to be longer period of time or shorter. So now let's look at this. See how it kind of blurs into the next slide. So these are transition effects. At the end, I told you before, what I like to do is on the promo slide, you know, the branding slide, um, I like to do the cube. Oh, well, let's do this one next. Let's do the cube. Hold on one sec. The cube. There it is. I like to do this one at the end because you just went through all these great photos to show the services and then isn't that nice just kind of it's a little zip all right and now so we're going to zoom out a little bit i'm going to show you another cool one the, you can find free, final cut pro free transitions or fcp free transitions and you'll find a bunch of them there's some you can pay for i mean there's probably a lot you can pay for i don't pay for too many Let's see, I did pay for these Ripple Whips, so if you go down here to Ripple Whips, I did pay for this one because it's just, it's kind of cool. Each one of these does something different. See, it's showing you the preview up here if I, if I run my cursor over it. So if we take this one and put it between these two slides, this is another client of mine, a construction company. Um, so this was before. And that's after. That's a cool effect, isn't it? We can jazz this up a little bit more if we click this, go up to crop, Ken Burns. Let's do a zoom out. Now let's do a zoom in on the beginning. So we're going to go this way, make this start. So it zooms in, All right? I'm going to start here with the green one and end on the red one. And then we're going to go over to the ending one, crop it. We're going to end large. This, the ending one will be the largest. Oops, got to get a little more over here. I want to make sure you fill up the video frame. All right, there's done. Now let's look at it. See how it moves in, it moves out. That's a nice effect. You'll you'll find the effects that you like. But anyway, transitions. I'm sorry, I shouldn't use that word effects. It'll it'll confuse you. Transitions. These are all about transitions and transitions. You can set the default period for a transition if you go up here to the preferences menu. Final Cut Pro, preferences, editing, and transition default is right here. So you can change that as the default. But as I said, I already I showed you how to adjust this transition time. You just highlight it, put your cursor on the edge, and you can make it shorter transition or longer transition. I hope this is helpful. Maybe you'll hit the subscribe button below and you'll get the automatic updates.